you know, when we think about children, we would never want them to go uh, without shelter, without food, without care. And uh, the same goes for our furry friends. Uh, the Humane Society is always taking care of these animals, um, taking them in, getting them new homes, getting them places to live in a safe environment. And uh, here to talk to us today about some of the great events is a regular of ours uh, here with us the, um, with, from Today Tonight magazine and the vice president of the board of directors of the Humane Society, the lovely Tracy Green. Tracy, thanks for coming on. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. Uh, I love being on your show and I can't wait to talk about our two upcoming cool events. Well, the, the, let's just jump right into it then. You've got, uh, you've got one coming up pretty soon here. Uh, tell us about the, uh, the tour. Well, it's the Today and Tonight Magazine third annual wing fling tour, which is a chicken wing tasting tour around Polk County via Coach Bus. It's a very unique event. People get to sample chicken wings at six different locations, as well as on the property of the Humane Society itself. We have uh, one of our partners there that will be sampling uh, food as well. Uh, we will also be getting a beer sample at each location to add more fun to the event. Uh, we do games, raffles, and actually it's an all day event that ends with a really cool after party with live music as well. Nice. So all day you're jumping from location to location, um, tes testing out chicken wings, drinking some beer, having a good time. Um, now I'm sure there has to be some type of uh, game plan when you go into this because you don't want to just eat all of your chicken wings on the first spot, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, we have this set up. This is our third year, so we've kind of worked out the kinks. Uh, we do about 45 minutes per location. Okay. Um, all the buses, we have about five of them, and they head to different directions of the county because we're going to six bars and restaurants, and of course the seventh location being the Humane Society. We play games, we have fun, we sample three wings, and it's really the choice of the bar or restaurant, what flavors they want to pump out. Some people use it as okay. a test to maybe market some new cool flavors or just to win that award because we actually do, at the end of the day, we give everybody a little poll and they tell us what they loved about each uh, restaurant bar location and who had the best flavors of wings. And you know, of course, everybody's competitive. <laughs> so they want that coveted, right. you know, chicken wing championship <laughs> you know everybody wants that yeah. award well um now the the different locations uh you said it's an all-day event and it's going to be on uh S september 28th, 28th right uh-huh yes what, uh, what are the different locations i mean who who all's involved with this okay well let me just tell you today's night magazine we are big promoters of small business we are right. entertainment dining and lifestyle so this event really encompasses what our company is all about fun, entertainment, and food. Yeah. So each season that we've done this tour, we actually choose some different locations to partner up with. We actually take the top two from the year before that had the highest rankings and of course had the best wings. And we invite them back and then we add some different flavors to the tour because we really want people to experience different places around our county and maybe go to some places they had never been before or maybe they haven't been to in a long time. For example, Cherry Pockets on the tour this year, oh, yeah. and people are going crazy because everyone knows about Cherry Pocket, right. but maybe they haven't been there in a yeah, long it's time. It's out there, beyond. And absolutely, yep. it's yep. over in the uh, Lake Wells area. We also have Champ Sports Bar. Uh, we've got Island Grill, which is a new kid on the block for yep. Winter Haven. Idle Zone. Uh, we have Scores, we have Apple Lounge, we also have Rick's Barbecue. They're going to be our partner over at the shelter location. And what a lot of people don't realize is they've actually won Wing Sauce Championships recently at some other events. Okay. So they're going to be, you know, showcasing that. So, so they're the ones to gun for them. That's right. <laughs> Everybody has their favorite. Everyone has what they're going to be pumping out right. to try to get everyone's attention. And the goal is, of course, not only are we raising money for the Humane Society, but we want people to go back and love these locations right. and become loyal fans like we are. Right. I would imagine that, you know, 40, about 45 minutes at each location, but 
there's also the bus ride, and I bet you those bus rides get pretty, uh, pretty fun. They are. Uh, we actually have bus captains on every bus, and actually, uh, Max 98.3 are running a bus this year, Mike ah. Lee and Eric Michael, so that's going to be a really <laughs> fun bus, because those guys are great yeah. comedians. <laughs> but what we do is we have a lineup and little questions and quizzes and all these things to make it interactive and fun, and this year we're also going to be incorporating some raffles. We do sell raffle tickets, of course, to raise more money for the right. shelter, but this year we're going to be doing a surprise, I guess, letting the cat out of the bag but we are going to be doing a little raffle on each bus so they can win some extra fun surprises along the way it's not just about spending money well i will take everybody's money for the humane <laughs> society but we want to give back and right. make the experience as fun as we can uh, because it is a 50 dollar ticket which gets you three wings per location right we get the beer sample, we get the wonderful ride over and around, we do after party with a live band, we do a goodie bag, wow. we do a wonderful cup, souvenir cup, and we do a t-shirt, an event t-shirt. So I mean, you're getting a lot for the money, it's a huge bang yeah, for the buck, absolutely. but the whole thing is about raising money and awareness for the Humane Society of Polk County, which is our only no-kill animal shelter. That, that sounds like uh, a terrific event. 50 bucks is a, is a steal for an entire day of, of fun and, and food. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you can't hardly beat that. And you know it's going toward the Humane Society. So Absolutely. Terrific. And what's really great is since we do incorporate the Humane Society as one of the location stops now, we're actually going to be, before we hit that location, we're going to be driving past the new building that we are in the process of renovating right. yeah. so we can pull through there so people can see what's coming why we need more money to get this thing complete yeah. and get in there because it's 11,000 square feet and it's going to take a lot of renovations because we are making it eco-friendly so as soon as we show everybody that we're going to go right down the yeah. road and hit the location we're at now so then you can go wow this is where they're aspiring to right. be this is where they're working from you know, let's help these guys out and, you know, donate some more money. Who knows? We have somebody on the tour that could be one of their next big donors. Yeah. You don't know. And that's, that's, uh, that's a huge thing for you guys moving into this new location. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's exciting, exciting move. It's been years in the making. <laughs> Now there's there's another event coming up uh, in October, right? Mm -hmm. October tell 19th. Us, tell us about the uh, the pint the the pint event. Pints for paws. We're yeah, very excited. You always come up with the cleverest little names. Pints well, for paws. Well, I can't take all the credit for this. We have wonderful partners, yeah. but actually, Bernie Little Distributors, one of our wonderful par partners for Polk County, they wanted to make this event happen. They're big supporters of the Humane Society. They're very, very friendly to animals over there. They love our pets. Uh, and they brought this to the Lakeland Center and Ovations. So we have built up this wonderful outdoor pet friendly beer fest at the Lakeland Center. We want it to be an annual event. Uh, because it's pet friendly, we have the Humane Society. They're gonna be bringing the bus over so maybe other people can see other animals that are up for adoption. Right. Now we will not adopt that night because we want to make sure people are making sound decisions. Right. But they can put an animal on hold and come to the shelter and get to know the animal to make sure that's the right fit for them. We're going to have vendors there. We're going to do raffles. But the big star of the event is it's going to be 99 different brands that Bernie Little Distributors is going to be putting out there for us to sample. That's terrific. Yes, and it's also what people don't realize is we're going to have a mini food truck rally incorporated as well oh, from cool. Tasting Tampa. Very and this cool. is only a $30 ticket. So, I mean, this is a big event nice. and it's going to also have entertainment. So we're really making some great events for the community, not only to have a great time, but to bring more awareness and those dollars are going back to help a wonderful charity right. for our community. Right. Uh, the the work that the Humane Society does is so great for our community. Um, you know, not just I mean, there's there's obviously other other you know uh, agencies out there, mm -hmm. the SPCA, the Sheriff's Department that mm -hmm. that take dogs in. But like you said, the Humane Society is the only one that is a no kill. Mm -hmm. um, so you know that you guys are taking care of the the animals and the ultimate goal is to place them in a forever home is yes. what we call it. We want to get them partnered for their forever home, but until that time, they have a wonderful home at the Humane Society of Polk County. That's why it's so imperative that we get into this new location that's so large. Right. Because we do not have this space. Right now, 
we're at max capacity yeah. for cats and dogs. I just had a friend of mine who was texting with me the other day saying we have this dog, we have to get it out of a bad situation, and so we're going, we're going to help you get that to a better home. If you could just help us out right now and be a, a temporary foster, as soon as we have space, we want to help you help this animal, you know, because it's heart wrenching, all the stories yeah. that we hear out there and things that we see, but it's also about education. They do a lot of education for the community. The SNP program, which is spay, neuter, inoculation programs to help people that are low income. We want to teach them about taking care of their pets. Right. We go into school yep. systems with animals that have been trained to help children that have reading problems. You know, there's a lot of people that can't read in public or speak in public, you know, and they're fearful. Well, they can do that to an animal, no problem. Mm -hmm. They love yep. the dogs, and they can sit there and read a book and, and move forward and, and get to the level they need to be at in school. Absolutely. So, I mean, there's so many more things that we do than just taking in, you know, dogs or right. cats. Well, uh, we, so think, we think of, you know, the Humane Society, oh, we're going to go pick up an animal at the Humane mm -hmm. Society and rescue that animal. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, those pets become more important to us than we are to them even. Mm -hmm. uh, they become such a part of our family. And like you said, they, they can serve so many purposes, uh, just uh, as a comforter or, mm -hmm. or even as a friend. You know, Absolutely. So. A, a great companion for life. You know, and the one good thing is the people that work at the shelter, they want to partner you with the perfect animal. You know, a lot of people automatically say, oh, I want the puppy, I want the puppy. But maybe your lifestyle isn't conducive to raising <laughs> a new young animal. Right. Well, there's a lot of older animals out there or, you know, mid-adult animals that are wonderful companions and they Absolutely. will be your lifelong yep. partner throughout their cycle, you know, and that really brings joy to both of you. Mm. And so that's what they really do. Oh, I love those older, older pets that'll just curl up on the couch with you Absolutely. and just watch TV. Absolutely, big snuggly. They're totally content just hanging out with you, you know, they're not chewing things up and right. rambunctious. I mean, the puppies are cute and everything, right. but yeah, I like the older pets, they're nice. Right, and we do have trainers that come in and help work with animals that they receive to help them be better animals when mm -hmm. they go to their next forever home. Yep. So that's very important as well. That's terrific. Well, you've got some really great things lined up, Tracy, and uh, I know that you're going to have a, a great turnout. Is there a max capacity for the, uh, for the wing fling? We do. They are limited seating, about uh, 250, 256 is our max. That's why you need to check out. How many buses is that? We Five. That's five, five buses. Five buses. Mm -hmm. wow. Five buses. But you know what? Um, all you have to do is go on to don'tbechicken.net. <laughs> it's a great website. It's a lot of fun. We always say it's going to be a clucking good time. Don't be chicken. It's going to be a wonderful event. You need to reserve your seat in advance. And we always tell people, though, if you cannot get on our, our tour, come to the after party. We're going to be doing a wonderful after party. All the information is on our website, don'tbechicken.net all the details, or you can always call us at Today and Tonight Magazine for more information as well. Well, you know, this is, uh, this is going to be great, and for your next event, the, uh, the Pints for Paws, we'll have you come back on and talk a little bit more about that one as it gets a little closer. How's that sound? Absolutely. I would love to. All right. Terrific. That's the, uh, the Wing Fling, the Today Tonight Magazine Wing Fling. Uh, the funds are going towards the Humane Society of Polk County. Um, this is going to be a terrific opportunity to get in there, get some food, have some fun, meet some new people. Uh, you can't hardly beat it. For 50 bucks a ticket, this is going to be a, a great event. And uh, it's, it's really simple to sign up. Just go to their website at www.dontbechicken.net. Um, or you can call 863-401-8001. And uh, you'll get a hold of somebody there, maybe even Tracy, and, uh, and they'll get you hooked up with, uh, with tickets. This is going to be a great time on September 28th. You won't want to miss this.